Hey everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Sam and Max Hit the Road. Now yeah, let's go ahead and let him out. Ow. Hey, that freed up a door. Hey Sam! Hey what? I found another sample of Sasquatch fur in Mange in the booth. While I spent my young life waiting, just sitting there, in that horrible booth, waiting. <laughs> Jeez, Max, get over it. Okay, here, you carry it. I'd better. I'm not sure where you'd put it. it That's none of your question. business, where Sam. Would he put it? Even though if he doesn't think it's any of our business? It's a hunk of bleach blonde Sasquatch fur in Maine. Bleach blonde? Really? Suitable for framing. I wouldn't say framing, but... It's a broken golf ball retriever. Okay. Let's open up this door. And there's something in there. It's a snow globe from the Mystery Vortex in scenic Goldwump, Washington. And we have a new what area. Take a look. Too bad it's empty or we could shake it. Like this? Yeah. What's that writing on the bottom of the globe? To Elmo the Bigfoot. Keep hmm. on trucking. Shavuel the Mole Man. Hey, maybe Shavuel's at the Mystery Vortex. Let's go there before I'm distracted by something. Hmm. That seems like a good plan. It's an empty snow globe without a stopper. Eh, we'll have to fix that later. And we are done with we are done with this area now. At least for now. We may have to come back. No telling. Excuse me. Well, let's head there, shall we? Sam, this place is making my head ping. That's probably just the metal plate in your head. Interesting ping, huh? Well, let's take a look around, shall we? Good lord! It's a possessed outhouse! This kind of thing wouldn't happen if they had indoor plumbing. Probably not, no. Who knows what makes these inanimate objects dance their infernal jitterbug? I do, I do! I think they're controlled by a series of really big magnets under the Earth's crust. You're an ignorant dolt, Max. Maybe. Maybe. Mystery Vortex. Well, with this place, anything's possible, huh? Well, let's go inside and take a look around. It's a little door. And it's yellow. An eight ball. Okay. And a scene from about five or six bad horror movies comes up. That's a mirror. Indeed it is. It's the seamy underbelly of water. <laughs> and a piano that's playing itself. It's a player piano. Indeed it is. It's a small door. Can we get in the door? So they're awfully small for us when we get near them. I can't reach the doorknob. It's a big door. Okay, what about this one? This blue one over here. 
It's a big door. So, we can't reach any of the doorknobs. Let's see what's waiting for us behind Yikes. here. Gravity's taken a holiday and lost its luggage. Indeed. That's not what I'm about to lose. I think I'm gonna throw up. Hmm. Throw down. Whatever. It's another tuft of Sasquatch hair and mange. Oh, My yeah. gravity senses tell me that this is not Bruno's hair and mange. Or yeah. maybe I'm in love. Let's just hope it's... Let's hope there's no love involved for Max there. This fur and mange must have belonged to the Sasquatch at the Mystery Vortex. So apparently there's another s Sasquatch around here. Museum gift shop. As if this wasn't proof enough. Bigfoot. Mini Vortex. Hmm. Looks like all the blood went to her head years ago. Well, somehow she's still staying grounded enough to, uh... Still chew gum. Too old, but wonk oy odd talk. I'm upside down, cutie, not dyslexic. Oh. I feel like my sense of reality has just exploded. Try cutting down on cholesterol. A good tip in general. Are you feeling as mentally unstable as I am? More so. It'll wear off in a few hours. Hmm. I'm looking for a Bigfoot. You too? I used to have a Bigfoot in that black ice over there. Yesterday I stepped out to have my spine recompressed, and when I got back, he was gone. Hmm. I wonder spine if that Spine recompression. Hurts. Cool. Do you know who Conroy Bumpus is? Yes, and he was here looking for a Bigfoot. Then he got sick and had to leave. <laughs> this place seems to have that effect on people. Indeed it does. Do you sell any snow globes like this one? We used to, but not anymore. Why not? Because they were having an inexplicably bad effect on the vortex. With every new snow globe we built, the vortex got weaker and weaker. Hmm. The same thing happens when I watch sitcoms. Me too. So we decided to discontinue the snow globes for financial reasons. I guess this means you don't have any snow globe stoppers. You got it. Well, we'll be back. Back, front, it's all the same to me. I think you make more sense than most of the people in this game, sadly. Well, we can try to get the it's snow an empty globe snow refilled. Globe. After all, it was made here. That might be a good idea, but perhaps I should wait until the Vortex is running. Can we try the Vortex? Step right in. There we go. <laughs> Let's see, we can refill the Vortex. But without the stopper, all that vortex just leaks wow, back out. Wow, the snow globe actually sucked in the pseudo-mystical energies of the mystery vortex. I was hoping something like that would happen. Hey, it's empty. See? Still empty. So we will have to find a stopper for it and come back later. Go on, leave. Thank you. Now, you may think we're done here, but no, this right here, we can actually interact with. Because we need to get into these doors. We need to try to find Shavul. And the only way we're going to do that is by finding the control mechanism. And instead of just looking at the mirror, we can use it to step through the portal here. I told you this place was controlled by giant magnets buried under the Earth's crust. <laughs> Lucky guess. So, if you walk around, notice we have a 
with a uh, magnet with a red handle, a magnet with a blue handle, a magnet with a yellow handle. So, let's try, since it's furthest one over, let's turn on the yellow handle. And we'll show you what happens. So this one, you actually get some deductive reasoning to solve this puzzle. We are bathed in an unnatural yellow light. So let's go to the yellow door. Let's notice that we turned everything yellow in that room. I'd never fit through. Oh, that's orange. Are one of these doors? Oh yeah, blue. Never mind. That does not work. But that door's orange, not yellow. That's why. Well, since these are color-coded doors, let's actually make an orange door, shall we? Actually, I've done the right thing. Let's click the red switch. Yellow and red make orange. Because we'll take a look at each of the doors in turn. And now that we've actually matched the door's color, we should be the right size once we get to the door. See? Question is, will it do us any good? It's a forest of shoe trees. I'm afraid, Sam. Let's get out of here. So that was no help. But a forest of shoe trees. Can't say that's all that interesting. Let's try the red door next. And to try the red door, we need to turn off the yellow so we have red. Come on. Slow walk. This is Sam completely there. unusable. Stepsister with a middle name of Stardust. Doug says hi. That karmic waste of space? I bet he still spends his days zoned out in front of the TV watching crummy reruns. Yeah, but now he's got cable. So he's got better reruns at least. One, two, three. What are we fighting for? Just checking. Good check there. What do you know about Bruno? Bruno the Bigfoot? Why do people keep asking that question? Bruno and I go way back. I've always felt a special kinship with Bigfoots. I feel the same way about pointy sticks. Shh. I haven't thought about Bruno for years. Allow me a moment to karmically link myself to him. If you must. Hold on. I'm getting something. 
I see Frog Rock between the inexplicable Valley of Lights and Mount Badridge. Wait, man, Bruno's in trouble. It's like several voices screaming out in terror and then suddenly silenced. Hmm. Sorry, guys, but I can't get a clear psychic image of Bruno. The sad truth is that I haven't been able to concentrate very well since I lost my mood ring in the biggest ball of twine in the world. If you find it for me, maybe I can help you. So, his mood ring, huh? Can you repeat that bit about your missing mood ring again? Okay, man. I lost it in the biggest ball of twine in the world. I think he's trying to tell us something, Sam. It's very possible. Could you repeat that bit about your missing mood ring we'll again? We'll see. We'll we'll check real quick here. Okay, man. I lost it in the biggest ball of twine in the world. I think he's trying hmm. to tell us something, Sam. You know? I think it's just possible we need to repay. We need to uh, pay the biggest bowl of twine in the world another visit. It just might be necessary. But we will do that next time. So, until then. Well, I guess that's all for now. Make yourself at home. You do that. We will be back next time, folks. Take care.